Hello and welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have got a friend because we are hyping ourselves up for a very, very cool video. Today is probably my favourite video that we've got planned. Um, and it is, it is, I'm going to get him to stop being stuck. Ignore this. Right, buddy, you going to come back around? Buddy. Right, Sam. Hello and, hello and welcome back to the channel. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for faffing about. I didn't realise I had my uniform on still and there was a fan going on in the background. So now I'm dressed in normal clothes with no fan, which is how things are meant to be done. But today I've got a very, very special video because I'm super duper excited about doing this video because there's stuff in this video that I really want to open and I want to see what it is because we're doing mystery boxes and what we've got we've got a decent selection I'm gonna get a few out so you can see we've got retro toys we got Sonic we got Sonic boxes we've also got Borderlands boxes by here and then we've also got Crash Bandicoot boxes which if I can reach in here and get it out Crash Bandicoot boxes. We've literally got some very, very, very cool little mystery figures that we could end up getting today. And I'm going to go through them over in the corner and show you what the possibilities are. But generally, I think these are the coolest mystery figures that we've done on the channel ever. We've done some in the past. We did some Yu-Gi-Oh! ones. Uh, I don't know what else we did. I think we did bargain bin ones last time. These ones cost me an arm and a leg. So I'm hoping this video does quite well. But also, the giveaway that we had going ends on this video. So if you guys want a chance at winning a Crown Zenith ETB, all you need to do is like and comment on this video and any of the other ones from the past four weeks. And make sure you are subscribed to this channel because in the next video, I'm going to be picking a winner. Okay, so you've only got one more uh, I'd say a couple days because I'm going to pull out the winning video on Wednesday. So this is going to be Saturday and then Wednesday I'm going to announce the winner. So this is the last video you have to have a chance of getting yourself in that draw. So to get yourself liked and subscribed, nice and simple. And I'll see you guys over in the corner when we're cracking open these boxes and we're going to find ourselves some sick stuff. I'll see you guys now. <laughs> Figures, lots of them. Today, we are going to be cracking into all of these, and we have some special figures on our hands. So, by here, we've got the Borderlands figures. By here, there's Sonic Prime. I don't know what that means. I don't know if KSI and Logan Paul are part of it, but they're there. And we got these retro figures. Um, these. These I'm most excited for because inside of these, this one's really heavy, um, these have an exclusive thing on the top. This one doesn't have an exclusive thing on the top. So this one either has something very special inside or it's lying to me because the front is exactly the same. But if you do come to the back, this one has three exclusive figures there that are, I assume, special figures or they're guaranteed inside this. This one doesn't have the same three figures there, but I'm pretty sure... I mean, everything else is the same. That figure there is that figure there, but with a special outfit. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's a G.I. Joe. It's something. But either way, this one is going to be left to last because it is exclusive. And I'm really excited about it. Maybe I should open it first, but I'm not going to. I'm going to open it last. So what we're going to do, we're going to get into all these. We've also got the crash figures. Um, and we're going to crack them all open. Just see what we got. I am going to give out some, some shout-outs to the ones I want the most. So I obviously want a Crash Bandicoot. So if we can get a Crash Bandicoot, I'll be happy. I don't know what the figures are inside of these. It says 11 to collect. Um, it, there's no pictures of the 11 figures. So I'm hoping the mask is going to be in there. I can't remember what the mask is called. Is it Atta Atta or Aka Aka? Something like that. Um, so if we can get the mask and Crash Bandicoot. And to be honest with you... Uh, what was the, the tiger called? It was a tiger. I can't remember what the tiger's called. Or Nexus, the, the, the dude, the, the, the doctor dude. If we get Dr. Nexus, I'll take it. Here, I would like... We have three, op three opportunities, okay? Here are the figures at the back. We clearly want a Sonic. We also want a Tails. And I would personally like a Knuckles. However, if we can get this uh, Eggman robot thing here, then that is what I want the most, okay? That is that there, looking at it from this picture, looks epic. So we're hoping for that one. Um, and with the Borderlands, I mean, if I'm being honest, 
We definitely want a psycho. Uh, I and a clap trap. Is there a clap trap? I'm pretty sure there's a clap trap there. Um, anyone else? I don't mind. There's a special clap trap. So if you can get a special clap trap, I assume that's going to be like the blue one or something. Um, I will take it. Ooh, a nice tiny Tina would be cool as well. Yeah. To be honest, with you this one I'm the most. I'm. I no. I say I'm the most excited for. Then I come to this. And um, this I am the most excited for. So here, um, we got all sorts. To be honest, mainly, mainly potatoes. Very, very many potatoes. But you got by there Cabbage Patch Kid, which in the exclusive box is in the exclusive area. Okay? So I don't know what that means. One of six, one of six. So it's not like it's it's not like it's special. Again, the, the stretch armstrong as well. I don't get what the exclusive means. I don't know if it's a different series, but either way, I would like a stretch armstrong, a Mr. Potato Head, and I don't know what these figures are up here. Is that blacked out because it's a surprise, or is that what it is? I think it might be a surprise. Um, and also, I mean, to be fair, yeah, a a a uh, operation. An operation, I'll take an operation. Right, no more talking about the toys. Let's get into them. Um, I'm going to take one from each of the layers, and I'm going to open up... I tell you what, we're going to miss out the retro toys in this line. So we're going to open these three first. I'm going to go for Sonic first because he's right in front of you. Five ninety nine. Let's find out if five ninety nine buys you much in Sonic surprise figures. Now this is a little bit disappointing because he's just there. So I think that is Tails, which is nice. Okay, we got Tails. I think. Are you Tails? You might not be Tails. Uh, this is not Tails. This is Tails' brother. Uh, Rocktail, what is going on here? What's he called? So, I don't know what this guy's called, but he's here. Um, I'm not going to call him Tails. I'm going to call him Tools, because he's got tools. Credit where credit's due. Right. This, this, this moves. So, I'm assuming this can come out of his hand. Um, I don't want to break it, but I will pull it out of his hand, if he'll let me. Can I have it? Okay, I'm not going to fight him for his gun, but there's a little bit of a, a pose ability to these. So, can we turn the head? We can turn the head. <laughs> can we turn the wrist? We can't turn the wrist. We can't move the arm. But we can move this arm. Okay, so we can we can give him some sort of... Can I get a box in this house? Right. Uh, is that too big of a box? What's with all the high boxes? Um, well, hold on there. I, I haven't got a box short enough. This is tools. Meat tools. Nice thumbs up. He's happy. Is that thumb move? It looks like the thumb moves, doesn't it? This is cool. Let's find out what his actual name is before we keep calling him tools. Uh, inside here we have a little a little notebook, little thing of things. Uh, and does it give you names? Um, it doesn't give you names. So, uh, I mean, it is Tails. It is Tails. It's Tails with tools. So I was right. It is Tails. Wait, so that is all three of his tails. Why does it look right? If you look on here, that's a fixed tail, that is. You've got no other tails there. However, if you look on here, there is clearly... Uh, a separation in those tails. Am I lying? Am I a liar? I'm not a liar. That's lying to me. Right. We've got Tails. So far, Tails is secured. We'll put him with the Sonic stuff. Um, and now we're going to get into a Crash Bandicoot box. This, I think, is my favourite packaging because you've got the proper little boxes that obviously Crash would bang his head into to open. Um, let me get some scissors. Bang, scissors in there. Let's crack open the Crash Crash open the crash. Right, I can't. This is the strongest plastic they could have used. Right, is this going to be a little bit more exciting? Wait a minute. I think we've got gold crash on the first one. Um, we did. We did get gold crash on the first one. Guys, we've got gold crash. He's got one big eye and one little eye. Let's get him out of this bag. Why are they not surprised inside the surprises? I want them to be in, like, black bags. You can't see what they are. Right, these boxes are really cool. These boxes are really, really cool. Can I close it together? I should be able to close it together, really, when you think about it. Um, right, I'm going to have room in this building. Right, let's move you and get you cracked. Oh, that is sick. That, that, these 100% are the best packaging, without a shadow of a doubt. And I can also now use it as a little stand. Pop in by there. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? Are you ready? I don't think you are. We got ourselves. Oh, my God, I'm going to break it. We got gold crash. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to put him on here first. Uh, he kind of does need a stand because he's uh, he needs a stand, okay? There's, there's holes on his feet. There's holes on his feet. That means he stands somewhere. He's got to stand somewhere. Apparently, it's not on the box. Uh, is there a stand in here? Is there a stand anywhere? Right. So, it's lying to us 
Because there are holes on his feet. So he clearly is meant to stand on summon, um, but he doesn't. But, I mean, we've got Gold Crash. I'm going to pop him here again, if I can, and let him stay there. And then we're going to look at this little, little dinky book they've given us. So, Golden Crash Bandicoot. I think that is the rarest one, is it not? Is it not? Let's have a look. So, on here, it says, Exclusive Crash, Metallic and Bronze, Silver and Gold. So, is Gold the best? Because in this, in this, it makes it seem like the silver and bronze are a bit more special. Uh, right, crash, thumbs up, crash. So he's normal crash, yeah? The one that looks mental. Does crash always had these eyes? Why can't I get the camera to settle on his eyes? These eyes look a bit messed up to me. Do they not messed up to you? They, I don't remember crash having one massive eye and one little eye. Either way, we got the gold one, which is clearly the best. And we're going to pop him next to our good friend Tails and move that away and hopefully my camera will work properly. Is that working? I think it is working. Right, Boardlands. Now we want a Psycho or a Claptrap. They're the biggest ones we want. And I'm hoping they're going to be in surprise boxes inside the surprise box. Okay, you ready for this? I'm just going to pop them out. Oh, we got ourselves a... Uh, I don't know who you are, sir. Can't see who you are yet. Let's get him out of the bag so I can see him. Bang, bang, sound, and you are, you are, you are, if I can get out, right, you are, sir, uh, I don't actually know who you are, um, you're holding uh, a gun that doesn't reach your hand that is clearly trying to also hold that same gun, um, lots of stuff I don't understand with this character, but he is, I mean, he's here, he's in my hands, let's find out what his name is, oh, there's a gun in there, oh my god, See, now this is sick. This is pretty cool. Right, let's put him... Uh, oh, bro, how are you going to do this? So he's got a gun handle. You know what I'm doing. His gun's upside down. You know how stupid I am. That was the most stupid I think I've been. Right. Gun in hand and pop, pop that down there. Oh, look at him. I mean, he tried. He's trying his best. I don't know if... I mean, that looks like the right way around. But also, it doesn't fit in his hands. Let me go off camera a sec. Right, I figured it out. So, it does slot in just about. I'm shaking. I apologise. I am shaky. Why am I so shaky? Jesus Christ. Right. There is our friend. Uh, two seconds. Let me find out what his name is. Uh, this is... Uh, this is F upside down exclamation mark 4K. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But that's his name. And I'm going to stick with it. Let's pop him down. And he can he can stand up at least. That's good. Uh, I don't know what's going on in my camera today. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem to want to focus on anything. But uh, we'll carry on going. I'll, I'll try and keep an eye on it because it keeps doing it. Right. Let's go. This time round, we're going to go for Sonic again. Let's crack straight into Sonic. And then this round, we're going to get into the retro toys. And we got Hammer. Hammer Girl. Hammer Time. Uh, I don't know what her name is. Um, again, they don't tell you what their names are. Okay. So she's this girl here, Hammer Girl. Um, I'm going to go with her name being, because I'm, if I'm not wrong, and I may be wrong, um, th she's got a flipping stand and half. She have Jesus Christ. This is a figure, ladies and gentlemen. This is 100% a figure. This is cool. This is really cool. You know what? I wasn't actually that much of a fan of the tails, but the, the nails, whatever her name is, uh, she's, I'm a big fan of her. She loves rock and roll too. Look at her, she loves it. Um, yeah, this one's really cool. I'm actually a big fan of this. And if you can tell me what her name is in the comments, um, that would be appreciated. I'm going to go, because if I, if I remember correctly, and this, this is going to sound awfully wrong. So you've got N Tails, Sonic, Knuckles. They've all got weird names. But this one's name is normal, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. But either way, someone tell me in the comments. Because I don't know if I'm being honest with you. Um, this time, we're going to go for Boardlands next. And then after Boardlands, we're going to open the Retro Toys. And then we'll do the uh, the Crash figure. Right, what are we going for? We're going for a Claptrap. But I think we're going to get Tina. Yeah? Oh, we got blue something. We got blue. It's a siren, I assume, is it? Is this a siren? Uh... I, ooh, it could be Lilith. It could be Lilith. Wait a second, guys. Um, okay, so I think it's Zane. I think it's this guy here, but blue. Okay, we're going to go with blue Zane. 
I don't know. I've just thrown away the box as well, which means I've probably lost a bit of information that we need. Let me find that in a second. Bang, bang, bang. And get out Blue Zane. I think it's Blue Zane. Bang. And there's a gun in there as well. Everyone's got guns. Sound and you, you uh, can have this pistol in that hand there. Oh, you know what? That fits in so well. And now we got blue someone. This is someone. I'm I'm adamant of it. Right, so it turns out none of these come with a book. Uh, the Borderlands ones don't have little books. Uh, so we're going to have to go off what we think it is here. Um, so they've got a pistol. I'm actually starting to think it might be Amara. I think it might be blue Amara. Yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? I don't think anyone else has just a straight-up pistol in their left hand. Nope, it's her right hand, so ignore me. But this is Blue Amara. Congratulations, Amara. You've got blue versions. Don't know what that means. Don't know if that means you're special. I assume it means you're special. Um, but, I mean, I have you now. Are you also... She's a little bit bigger than the robot, which I think is a bit shitty, if I'm being honest with you, because you'd think the robot would be massive. And... A, a regular human girl, a human girl, uh, wouldn't be as big as a robot. But, you know, I don't know, do I? I don't know everything. I can try, but I don't know everything. Right. Retro figure, retro toy number one. I this, this is the reason for this video, guys. If you're enjoying this video, thank this box. Because this is the reason I even... Genuine. I walked into... It's Forbidden Planet is the shop where I bought all these. And I saw these on the shelf. And I was like, oh my god, they are sick. So I picked up the three that were left. And the guy behind the, the counter was like, oh, we've got really cool mystery figures upstairs. So then I went upstairs and found these three. And I was like, yo, I gotta, I've got to I've gotta make this video. So this is this all stemmed from this, this box here, okay? And now we're going to crack into this box here and find out, oh, this feels like the most mystery figure, like, opening out of all of them. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like, please... A stretch Armstrong. And it's coming in a black bag. Oh, see, this is how it should have all been done. This is how it all should have been done. Right. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Right, let's get you open. I would like to pop it out without looking at it too much. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready for this? We've got a G.I. Joe, I think. This might be G.I. Jose, to be honest. I don't know who this is. Um, the annoying thing, right, the annoying thing is it doesn't actually tell me. Um, the, the pictures here, so it's this guy here, um, but I would have thought there would have been a um, a little booklet to tell me who he is. So I'm going to go with G.I. Joe, um, but nowhere on here does it tell me it is G.I. Joe, and also he looks really Mexican, so I wouldn't say it is G.I. Joe. It doesn't look very G.I. Joey, um, but he has got... He has got grenades on his chest and he has got camo on. Um, so G.I. Joe is, is what I'm going to go with, okay? If anyone knows who that is, please tell me because I, I genuinely don't. Um, but it's G.I. Joe now, okay? And then we've got a Crash Bandicoot one. Here we go. This is Jack, this is Crash Bandicoot. Uh, that was that was silly. Didn't like that. Oh, God. What's happening? Right. Let's get into this bad boy. Uh, if we can do it without opening the box on accident this time. Sorry for hitting the camera so much. I'm running out of space because of all the mystery figures. I've accidentally opened the box, but I didn't see what it was. Okay, right. You ready for this? It is. Oh, it's Dr. Cortex or Vortex or Nortex. Is it N? Oh, my God. Is it Neo? 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 I thought it was Cortex. It's Neo Cortex, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I'm right. We'll go with Neo Cortex. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure it's Cortex. Someone let me know in the comments. This isn't going as well as I thought it would be for naming all the characters. But either way, I wanted him. So we got him. I wanted him and I wanted uh, the, the, the Crash. And I also wanted, uh, to be honest with you, no, a regular Crash would be nice as well. Not just the gold one's cool. The gold one doesn't feel right. Why is he so yellow? Looks like a Simpsons character. Is, that, is it just me? Or is that that's Simpsons, that is? He is the Simpsons. Ooh, they could have put that right in somewhere else and not on the back of his head. Why is that writing on the back of his head for? Now we, now, now that's all I'm going to see. It's writing on the back of his head. All right, well, either way, I mean, that's pretty damn cool. I'm a big fan. I think, personally, the yellowness of him is putting me off a little bit. And also, shouldn't the N be red? 
Am I making all of this up? Right, let's put him down. Let's put him down. Dr. Neo Cortex is what I'm going to go with. And then we can check you. Uh, where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you? There he is. Uh, Dr. Neo. It is Dr. Neo. There's Cortex in it. Someone tell me. I'm pretty sure it's Cortex. And I'm, I don't think I'm wrong. Right. So we got Crash uh, Mercipus Erectus. Okay, uh, Crash Bandicoot Spin. I mean, that would have been cool as well. And there's no mask. Oh my God, there's no... Is it Aku, 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 Aku? Someone tell me everything I need to know because I'm not very good at all this. Right, we have got one of each figure left. No, we haven't. We've got an extra retro. We're going to open the extra retro, okay? We're going to go for the extra retro, and then we'll go for the rest, and then we'll open the last one, which is also the extra retro, but it is the retro with the exclusive on top, okay? So this one, this is the most actual mystery box feeling figure. And we're going to crack into him right now. Right, we don't want G.I. Joe again, or G.I. Jose. We also don't want the Cabbage Patch Kid that... Looks very inappropriate, if I'm being 100% honest. I know what they're trying to go for. It looks like he's he's a piece of, of uh, sweet corn. Um, but no, okay? No is my answer. If Stretch Armstrong comes out already stretched, it's going to piss me off. But that's fine. Um, and also, this kid here, recognise him. Can't figure out what he is. Is that the uh like the doughboy or something? Is that the, the Mr. Puff doughboy? No, I can't be the Mr. Puff doughboy because that's the... <gasps> Why do I recognise that? Oh my days, that is throwing my, my head back right now. What is that? That was, I remember this from, from when I was a child. I don't know what that is, but I can remember it like it was yesterday. Oh my God. Now I need that. Now I need to know what it is. Right. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't known as much as I thought I would have known today. Names and, and everything has gone out the window. It's gone out the window. Right, bang. Are you all ready for this? Right, what are we going to get? I'm, I'm going to say, from the feel of it, Cabbage Patch. I absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Also, may not be a Cabbage Patch. Pretty sure it is. We, am I going crazy? I'm pretty confident this is a Cabbage Patch kid. But it also could just be a Caterpillar. Is it a sleepy caterpillar or a cabbage patch kid? The face is saying cabbage patch kid. The outfit and everything else is saying it is a caterpillar. I don't know. But either way, I'm upset. I didn't want that one. I wanted a different one. So now we're on the last round of figures. And there's, there's characters we're chasing, okay? We're chasing Sonic from Sonic. We're chasing the Psycho from Borderlands or Claptrap. Either one of those two will make me happy. Um, and we're also chasing a regular Crash Bandicoot. And I would also please very much like either Stretch Armstrong or a Operation or a Potato or this thing here that I can't remember what it is. But I, I'm confident I know what it is and I'm confident I had one. But that is the last box we're going to open. First of all, it's going to be the Sonic ones because the Sonic ones are actually, actually much better than I thought they'd be. So let's open the Sonic ones. Bang. Right, you ready for this? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm going to show you as well at the same time. Who are you? I don't know. I don't know who you are. And there's no point even looking at the box because the bag doesn't tell us what your name is. Right then. You look like a Lola Bunny. So we're going to go with... Oh, she's got wings. She's got devil wings. Ooh, what's her name? She ain't a hamster. Or a, 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 a sonic... A, what are they called? Hedgehog? Is she a hamster? She could be a hamster. Or a mouse. Is she a mouse? She could be a mouse. I don't think so. Her mouth is making me say, not a mouse. Either way, um, not what I wanted. We didn't get Sonic, but this girl does look suave. She does look very cool. She does look like she'd kill someone if she had the chance. Um, yeah, I mean, don't know what to say. I don't I don't know what her name is. Um, and also, I'm not particularly familiar with this character in general. I am going to doobie-doo who this is. Okay, so she's going to go by here. And she can stay there. And then we're going to open up. What are we going for next? I'm going to go for Boardlands. I'm going in order of what I think has been the most successful. Um, which is why I probably should have put Boardlands first. Because Boardlands hasn't been uh, very successful at all. Um, but we'll ignore that. We'll ignore all of that. And we'll crack open this box. Right. Claptrap or a Psycho? 
Oh, I tell you what, I've had enough of this. <laughs> right, who are you? You're Lilith, I think. I'm pretty confident this is Lilith, uh, which I'm okay with. I don't mind Lilith. Um, I would have, I would have preferred not Lilith and uh, something else, anything else. Uh, but I'll take it. I will take it. That is, that is no. They're taking a piss with this one. They are taking the Mick. What is that? What, like, what are they trying to do with that? She's looking 15 different ways. One eye's looking at you. The other one's looking for you. She's also just doing... the. What's this hand doing? What is this hand doing? What's that hand doing? What the fuck is this girl doing? Right, this one sucks. This one, hands down, is the worst one. It's not even like a joke. It looks like someone tried to make uh, Horizon Forbidden West. And they they made this toy... And they didn't put much effort into it. Bro, her arms are different lengths. Look at this arm, right? Look at that arm. Um, long and bent. This arm's her entire arm. It's thicker and shorter than that arm. I don't like Lilith. I'm 99% sure this is Lilith. Let's find out. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Lilith. She does have a gun. Have I lost her gun? Hmm. We may have lost Lilith's gun. Oh. Right, I found this gun. It's on the floor next to her. Um, I'm not going to lie. Even with this gun in her hand, uh, she sucks. Okay, just being honest with you. Just being, just being my honest self. She doesn't. She's not very good, to be honest. Can I get him in there? Get her finger in there, lad. Right. Okay. There she is. Uh, I mean, that is about as good as a lost limb, to be honest. That's fantastic. I'm gonna put her. Right at the back. She doesn't even deserve to be with everyone else. Annoyingly, she's probably more in shot than anyone else. But she sucks. She's the worst one. Let me just double check a minute. Are these guys just as poorly made as her? Because they're not great. Don't get me wrong. They're not the best. But they're also not as bad as her. Okay? So I think that's where I'm struggling. That's where I'm struggling here. Let's put him to the back as well. How's she looking? This is the thing. She can look like anything. Doesn't make a difference. If Lilith was blue... We'd like her, I think. But she's not blue. Right. Doesn't matter. Let's get into the last crash box. And this time, I would please... Oh, my God. I must stab myself in the hand. Uh, this time, I would like please... Oh, my God. This is terrifying. This is, the, this is the most difficult one to get into. Although the best presented. 100% the best presented. Um, the most difficult to, to open. Right. Let's get you open. This time, we're not opening the box on accident. I'm actually going to push everything back while I do this one. And we're going to crack open the box. You ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, okay. We got the two gold ones. They're both, they're both gold. One's got thumbs up. So we got the thumbs up crash with gold. And we also got gold crash. I don't think these are going to be uh, worth anything. All these figures I'm opening today. Obviously, sometimes you find the, the mystery figures. And, and people are all bidding for a specific mystery figure. Um, no one on their, in their right mind is, is, is trying to get this. Okay. It's cool, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's just, it's not that good, okay? It's not that good. His eye is painted below his eye, so that's that's usually a negative. I find that quite negative. Um, the rest of him, do what annoys me the most about the Crash ones is they've clearly thought about bases, but haven't provided one. And I thought, oh, that's clever. Clearly the boxes are the uh, the thing you use. No, there's no, there's no, like, there's nothing there's absolutely nothing. So I don't know what I'm supposed to say. But we got two gold crashes today. Two of them. One's bronze. No, this one's bronze. This one's bronze. He's bronze. Okay, take it back. Take it back. Not as good as this one, actually. So we've actually found a worse one. But um, neither of them are real normal crashes. And also, why do they he put in the messages on the most open spots? Put it on their feet. Okay, put it on their feet. I've had enough. Oh my god, I'm in a choking fit. Right. Pop all them to the back. Lots of figures, lots of them, all going crazy. We're gonna put them all to the back. And now we're gonna open the final figure, which is our exclusive retro figure. This one I am super duper excited for. And if we don't get ourselves one of the special ones, I will be upset. Okay, so we got options here. You see, I don't want the cabbage patch kid. Please don't give me another Cabbage Patch Kid. Um, I would really like... To be honest, I don't want any of these three exclusive ones. 
I know that sounds weird. Don't want them. I want these, him or him. So either one of these two here. I want him or him. Okay. So either potato, stretch, monster or operation. Okay. Or, or this black one here that I think is a surprise one. But also it could just be a black suit. So I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Right. Bang. Right. This is also the last box. I just realized this. So... I'm going to open this, but also give you guys a goodbye. So I appreciate you all for joining me today. Remember, this is your last chance to get involved in the giveaway. So like and comment on this video and make sure you are subscribed to enter our giveaway for the uh, Crown Zenith ETB. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you all for joining me today. This has been a very, very fun video. I'm a little bit let down by some of these figures, um, but we will ignore it and we'll just get on with, with uh, enjoying the ones we do like. Um, which I'm hoping this is going to be one of them. I'm hoping this is going to be, and I don't think it's a stretch Armstrong, okay? But if this is an operation, James is a happy man. You ready? Oh, it's flipping. Is it Action Man? Who is this supposed to be? This is the, the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. So I'm going to go with Action Man, although it could be Sailor fucking Jerry for all I know. I'm going to Scooby-Doo this is. It's Paul this is. So we got Paul. Well done, Paul. You're a part of the gang, lad. Uh, I assume this is Action Man, just by the fact of, like, I assume these are the same person and they're both Action Man and they've both been given different outfits. I haven't got a clue, guys. But either way, this looks like Paul's Mexican cousin and this looks like, uh, what were we calling this? Jose, wasn't it? Uh, this looks like Jose's long-lost cousin who got stuck to the uh, to the to the seas, and he's been out to sea for a long time, and he's really taken up the 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 sea life. Um, also, this parrot's beak is green, so lazy, especially when they've put fucking yellow on it. There's yellow elsewhere, and they haven't given him a yellow or orange beak, so laziness in my eyes. But that is us for today. I appreciate you all for joining me. I am going to be honest with you and say my favourite figure is either this gold uh, this gold crash, which is also a bit crap, to be honest, because he doesn't move. There's no movement in this. They're, like he's, he's facing sideways. So he's either fucking skateboarding or surfing, um, but he's not doing normal crash stuff. Um, so we'll pop him by there. And also, this hammer girl who I don't know what her name is, but we're going to call her Linda. She is actually way cooler than what I gave her credit for. And especially when it comes to everyone else, she ended up being the, probably the coolest and the most opposable and the most fun. Okay, so congratulations, little miss Hammer Hammer Time. Let's call her MC Hammer. Ha <laughs> ha, MC Hammer by her. Um, yeah, she's the best, I think. The overall the best. I think this is it. Otherwise, I don't think any of the other ones deserve the crown. Because... Tails has only got one tail. As much as they try to say, oh no, this there's etching here, you can see multiple I can't! There's not multiple tails, one tail. Also, metal shoes. Okay? Metal shoes. That's like the window of the uh the, the Millennium Falcon. Um but it isn't. And that's what that's what really hurts, I think, is it looks like stuff, but it isn't that stuff. So I'm gonna leave it to you guys. You can tell me what you think, um, and I will I will let you know if I agree with you or disagree. The main thing I think we get from this video is I don't know these characters' names, and I need your help to remember what it is. So if you can do that, appreciate it. But otherwise, I appreciate you all for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers! If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks!